Hello everyone, I am Eric Nubel. I am here in our studio, uh, Chamber Studio in production. I'll let you look around. This is one of my most favorite places uh, because it allows me uh, quiet, of course. It also allows me to have um, a place to download. It's one of those creative zones. That's what I really call it. It's one of those creative zones where I'm able to go. Uh, I'm here today listening to a song called uh, We Want Change. Uh, I was uh, several years ago, I was invited to a church. And when I got to that church, um, I, I just felt like the people in the building uh, were screaming out, we want change. And, uh, and the song basically declares, we want change. We want change. We We want change. And I really felt like in the atmosphere that the people were saying, we've got to have some change. And specifically, that's what I want to talk to you about just for a few moments here. Uh, you may be in a place in your life, man, where you are sick and tired of being sick and tired. Sick and tired of working a job that you're working, sick and tired of living where you're living, sick and tired of the educational background that you have, sick and tired of missing opportunities, sick and tired of being lazy, sick and tired of being frustrated that um, you don't know what to do to help get your dream off the ground, sick and tired of being around the people who are negative in your life that are not allowing you uh, or being positive for you or allowing you to become that you that you want to be. Um, I was there before and it really, really wore me out emotionally uh, on a daily basis. And uh, it really brought me to a place, man, where I started to uh, start seeking knowledge. Uh, Romans chapter 10 specifically speaks about uh, God says, I, I love Israel. Um, I desire for her to be saved, delivered, healed, released, free. Uh, and then it goes on and says, but she has a zeal, but not according to knowledge. If you're going to be a person who is going to find out what you are purposed to do, find out what your calling is, find out what that one thing is, if you have one thing, uh, find out what God has placed in your heart, you're going to have to be a person who's willing to say, I want change. Uh, in my book, Pillars of Inspiration, um, these are wisdom keys to help establish your faith and help establish your life. This is a guide to helping you identify what you are purposed and called to do by the Spirit of the Living God. Uh, and I'll tell you, uh, matter of fact, I'll read a, read just a verse. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 11, the Amplified Version. And you can read it on your own. It says, He has made everything beautiful in its time. He also has planted eternity in men's heart and mind, a divinely implanted sense of purpose, working through the ages which nothing under the heaven uh, under the sun, but God can satisfy yet so that men cannot find out what God has done from the beginning to the end. There are things that are inside of you that they're like a time release capsule. And unless you are striving, working, gaining knowledge, you may not really uh, allow that time release cap capsule to be broken. And so that could produce more frustration, more hurt, more anger. Uh, it could it could produce a, a, a give up attitude or I quit or I don't want to do this. Um, I was there. Uh, I recognized that God did me a great favor, man. In my wrestle, he showed me what my greatest calling was. And my greatest calling is what you see on this shirt, IP, Inspired Purpose. God showed me that I have a gift of, uh, of inspiration. Uh, the word inspire means to spur on, to impel, to motivate, to breathe, or to blow up on, or to infuse one's life. If you're ever in a service with me or any type of teaching or motivation that I'm doing, I'll always tell you, hey, let's stop for a minute. And, and let's take a deep breath. And that's what the word inspiration is. It really has embodied everything that I do. And I thought I was just going to be a minister early on because a lot of my families are ministers. Then I thought I was going to be a social worker, and I am, and I have a social work degree. Then I thought I was just going to be a pastor over a church. But I recognized, man, that was way too small. And because it was way too small, because I was just looking for one thing to do, but praise God uh, for the spirit of evolution. 
uh, because he knows how to take mankind in his created form and allow him to evolve. Uh, in my book, this will be a great blessing to you because it will help you understand the evolution process that's taking place on the inside of you. I'm not talking about evolution as in, in the science. I'm talking about evolution as in you are evolving every day. Uh, you are designed by a living God to grow, to live. Matter of fact, Acts says that we are, we live, we move, and we have our, brain, our, our being. I like to say it like this. We are living, breathing organisms. Uh, in the earth and God is designed for us to 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 move uh, skillfully so if you're struggling with what am I called to do and uh, what am I doing listen take the opportunity and use my gift use what I'm called to do as an inspirer to help you find out exactly where you should be and how you should be working on what God is designed for you to do take time like us on Facebook go to our website uh, ericnubel.org also we'd like for you to uh, go to our YouTube page Eric Nubel Ministries I'll guarantee you we have some resources out there that will be a great blessing to you uh, I don't know about you but I'm doing everything I can to go after it and keep going after it every single day. I'm in pursuit. How about you?